Hey good people, this is Shar from Politics and Fashion here today with a video that is all about the black owned brands you need to know, girl. These are the best of the best across categories. Many of these brands I have purchased pieces from myself. Others come highly recommended by you all. I asked you over on Instagram, what are some great black owned businesses and you recommended many of these brands on the list, okay? I reached out to some of them, even have some items to share with you all today. But what What's most important y'all is that by curating this list I made a personal commitment to not share with you another haul on this channel that does not include at least one piece from a black owned brand. It is too many black owned brands out here that are doing the daggone thing and as a matter of equity they are not receiving the shine that they deserve. So today we about to give them their flowers sis alright. If that sounds good to you make sure you are following me over on Instagram for daily style and self care inspiration. So subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and just click subscribe now. Click like now. All right, let me give you a minute. You did, okay, you did it? All right, thank you sis. Now let's get started. First up, let's start with accessories, y'all. Accessories, so uh, I am a handbag lover. So let's start there with the one and only Brandon Blackwood. We love you, Brandon. We see you. We love you. We adore you. We got t-shirts made. Team Brandon. They're coming soon. We did. We, we love you. All right. Now, there are too many Brandon Blackwood handbags to name. I think the ones that are most popular started with the In Systemic Racism handbag. As soon as some of these bags drop, y'all, you already know, they completely disappear from the internet. <laughs> now, the great part is that he is now being carried at major retailers, and so we can find him outside of his own website. Kudos to him, by the way, of being carried by major retailers, like Saks, for example. But... I love the craftsmanship. I love the quality. I have a bag from him. I have no idea where it is. I wanted to show it to you all, but I pop up a picture here. I don't know how I lost the whole handbag. Uh, and it has been really a gift. I want it in every single color. As soon as I got it, y'all, and I took it out of the packaging, I said, okay. Brandon, you know what you're doing over here. This is luxury. Uh, the packaging was so substantial. He had the branded tissue paper that it was wrapped in. It comes with a dust bag. I was just highly impressed and in love. I think the quality of the leather on that bag is exceptional. The gold on the hardware is perfect. It also comes with an additional crossbody strap. I mean, it's just it's just it. And I have never heard any negative review, honestly, about any of his handbags. And so Brandon Blackwood is at the top of my list. I could go on, trust me, I could. But we got a long list to get through. So that is the first item on our black owned brands list. Number two is a leather goods brand by my friend Raina Iman. And I have here one of her iconic pouches. She also makes totes. Now, what I love about her and why I included her on the list is because of the craftsmanship. It's the craftsmanship for me. Just really get into the quality, y'all, of this leather, the gold zipper. And also the really dope part, y'all, is that all of her bags and pouches have this tag on it. And each tag, you can decide what you want your gemstone to be. Okay, and I chose um, a green stone. Now, you obviously can pop this off. It doesn't have to stay. And on the inside has pockets, girl, which I love. I plan to put this in my brand new tote because it really can eliminate the need for a wallet on the days that I'm carrying that tote. Or I could just wear it on a day like today. Ooh, the browns match. I'm wearing also a tan skirt. Um, on a day like today, this could actually be my bag. I love it. Silhouette is thin, so it's gonna fit into a lot of bags. And again, we're talking about the best of the best on this list, y'all. And so what enhances that for me is what comes along with the bag. How is it packaged? How is the item being shipped, right? What does it look like upon arrival? If it's leather, does it come with a dust bag? And yes, it absolutely does. We have our Reina Iman dust bag here that it comes with, okay? It has the drawstrings on the side. 
it says luxuries with a purpose down here on the bottom and it also comes I thought this was so thoughtful y'all with a care card a care card and it tells you when your products are not in use the provided dust bag is recommended for storage keep your hand back away from direct sunlight and water to retain the longevity and also for stone care wipe your stone using the provided cloth yes it came with the cloth with water or natural oils when it comes in contact with water or natural oils all handbags and tags are made with premium calfskin leather and semi-precious stones. And it has the thank you note on the back, the care instructions on this side. Girl, when was the last time you purchased something, a leather good that came with care instructions? So impressed. Thank you to my homie Raina for sending this over. I should also say that she is one of the co-founders of Quinn Parfumes, which is the company that I partner with for the White Toenail Season Candle and Rediffuser. So they are doing some great things over there. Black entrepreneurship at its finest. Next up is a sunglasses company that I am obsessed with. I actually just purchased a pair of sunnies from them for my client who I was styling and it is Savant and Scholar. This is a brand that y'all hit me to and thank you. Thank you to the person who did because the eyewear is really innovative okay it's not just sunnies I should say they also do traditional eyewear which I'm sure you could drop your prescription into and uh, the sunnies that I ordered, when I pulled them out of the case, they came with the case, back to packaging, I was floored. I really was. I mean, they really, for me, were on par with some of your big major design houses as far as the quality of the sunglasses are concerned. And y'all know I, I worked in luxury retail, so it is not easy to impress me as far as craftsmanship is concerned. And Savant and Scholar, they're it. I love the different shapes. I think those are so innovative. Uh, even down to kind of where the name on the inside of the Sunnies as well as the brand was etched on the inside of each arm. I love the little pop of gold on the side. I, and they are the kind of designs that when you see them, you know who it is. It's so funny because when I was in New York last weekend, I remember seeing someone wear the brand. I said, oh my God, you're wearing Savant and Scholar. Like, you know you have a great brand aesthetic when people recognize it on you immediately as a pair of sunglasses, right? So, tens across the board to them. Uh, I got the sunnies. I almost didn't pass them on to my client girl. And I cannot wait to get my hand on my own pair. Next, y'all, let's hop over to jewelry. You know jewelry is my love. I will take an outfit from basic to bust down in a minute, girl. You give me a black slip dress. And, and, and walk me into a room full of jewelry. When I tell you I'm gonna give you a look, I can give you 10, 15 different looks. It's about the jewelry, <laughs> all right? <laughs> and so in this category, I wanna bring up three brands from more affordable to fine jewelry. The first one is my girl, Rashana, over at Free Maiden Jewelry. Where do I begin? Rashana designed my wedding set. This is my engagement ring that was designed by Rashana. The center stone is Malachite. I didn't want a diamond. I wanted something different, okay? She hand drew it, designed it, sent it away to be finished. Uh, and it has a top band and a bottom band, which I'll be sure to show you all. Uh, I have many, many, many of her bracelets, including the Amani bracelet that I am wearing today. But she also has cuffs that I love. All of her jewelry outside of my wedding set, which of course, is 100% gold and diamonds um, are made from brass and the brass to me gives them a very organic texture that I am obsessed with and she then dips them in 14 karat gold so for me what that means is you don't have to worry about consistently shining them like you do brass but as the gold begins to just naturally fade over time you know everything that's gold plated eventually will you don't have to worry about it not still being a golden tone underneath because it is brass so for me it's a win-win situation I also have an amazing pair of earrings from her as well. I mean, she just gets it, y'all. 
she is not producing as many collections as she did in the past but please stay close to her Instagram and her website I will always always be a fan she comes highly recommended I know y'all be getting frustrated because you're like where is that bracelet <laughs> as soon as they come back in stock I will let you know she had a drop recently and she does several drops every year so free mating at the top of my list of the best of black owned businesses as far as jewelry designers are concerned Next up are two fine jewelry brands that I put on my luxury wish list for the year. Let's talk about Mateo. Mateo. I don't even know what to say. I don't. When I went to Puerto Rico, y'all, and I tried on that necklace with the blue lapis pendant and the diamonds across the top, my life changed the the earth i could feel it spinning on its axis that is how i and it looked like a like the earth uh, I, I could feel it spinning on its axis because I, I really thought to myself this is what we come here for this is what we wake up in the morning for right this is design this is art he makes very popular initial jewelry, but it was in that moment that I realized, oh, he's so much more than that. Now the jewelry, the initial jewelry is amazing. I love all of the rings, especially the ones that are rectangular with the kind of diamond encrusted letter initial on them. But Friend makes so much more and I follow his personal Instagram account. And when I tell you he lives a lifestyle that I feel like I need to live, I'm just like, bring me on one of them private jets with you. I'll, I'll hold your Birkin. I promise you I will. <laughs> so as an individual, he is goals. And the jewelry is a standout tint across the board. Next is Amasika. You already know, okay? We love them. We want to be adorned head to toe by them. All of the designs are absolutely impeccable. Also was able to try on some of those pieces in Puerto Rico at Reinhold Jewelry. Shout out to them. Um, and I think really realistically when it comes down to like jewelry that is culturally inspired, that is fine jewelry, I don't know who is doing it better than Amasika. They are just impeccable works of art. And so I I could not talk about jewelry and not put them at the top of my list as well. If you all are looking to invest in jewelry and find jewelry, Mateo and Amasika, you can do no wrong. If you're looking to invest in jewelry at a lower price point, a much lower price point, then Free Maiden, she got the goods. Now let's talk about clothing. Talk about clothing. I know you came here for the fashions, girl. Uh, so many, so many great beautiful amazing designers some of them I, I shared also on my luxury wish list video let's start with the most obvious our good sis Hanifa our good sis Hanifa uh I am still after this dress and I'm, I'm gonna get this dress this maxi dress before I put this video up because if y'all get this dress I'm going to be sick okay so I'm gonna shut to my core Hanifa came on the map and I think a lot of us know sis for the maxi uh cardigan that you can also wear as a dress that the girls love. I love it as well. Uh, and what I realized from her runway show that was in DC not too long ago is that she has a very wide breadth as a designer. And if you were only looking at that cardigan, you may be missing some of the more amazing pieces that she has to offer. She even has released shoes, which I absolutely love. And so I think for a contemporary designer and a black designer who also understands color, she is one of my faves and definitely one to watch. Now let me let me go ahead and check out and get my maxi dress, okay? Cause she will be worn all spring with a with a cardigan, girl. Put some over 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 my shoulders so my grandma won't get mad in that in that spring air. And then we gonna go ahead and rock her into summer because girl, a good vacation look with this not with a pair of like flat tie up sandals, honey. Girl, you have like a wicker fan, just kind of slightly fanning you as you sip sip a mojito by somebody's pool at their five-star resort with this on child please they're gonna ask you to leave they're gonna ask you to leave because the sight that you will be the beauty from head to toe it will outshine any architecture any artwork that is within that establishment girl listen shutting it down is putting it mildly 
that is what I feel like Hanifa gives. And you know who else gives that? Let's just be honest. Let's be honest. Nah, that price point ain't, <laughs> ain't to be played with. But you know who else is you put on and you are a walking piece of art and we've had this discussion before is Christopher John Rogers. Don't play. Don't play with Christopher John Rogers. We play with kids. We do not play with Christopher John, one Christopher John Rogers. Uh, I just say, they were asking me on my call this morning, my, my consultant call, they said, uh, who is a black artist who you love? And I said, Christopher John Rogers creating art, calling it fashion. I still want these pants. There's still two bands. Guess who won't have them? But I'm still waiting to hit the lick. I'm still waiting on an amazing opportunity that's going to allow for me to invest in my pants because they are art in deed. We're not, we're not ruling the pants out. Now we don't know how many more they have out there into creation. But if they find their way into my life, I will be so grateful. Uh, color. Much like Hanifa, Christopher John Rogers is known for color. He actually did a collection uh, as part of like the designer collections with Target over the summer. Um, I think the designs are whimsical. They are feminine, but also very edgy. He does these great colorful bustiers as well. I mean, it is just always a level of drama with him that I absolutely adore. So on the list amazing black brand next up is a designer that the girls love who i love as well i don't have any of her pieces yet but that's gonna change hopefully spring summer and it is finoel don't you just love her when i think of finoel i immediately think of vacation i immediately think of someplace tropical someplace amazing i think there is this fluidity and femininity to her designs that just gives this almost ethereal vibe like it's aspirational like you feel like i want to reach out and touch the garment so i too can live that life i need a thousand dollar silk robe with the billowy sleeves to be on a yacht with white toenails you don't think i need that in my life i need that okay and fee noel gonna give it to you it is the look and essence of luxury that's what i think she does so well and i am so proud of all that she is accomplishing the luxury retailers that she's finding herself in and she said something that i thought was just absolutely beautiful on instagram she said this is not a uh, you know an accomplishment or something like that this is not a reminder or it doesn't mean that we belong it's a reminder that we've all always been here and i was like you better read white supremacy down you better it was just the most nuanced perspective about what it means to get a seat at their table that i had ever seen in in a caption in a caption uh and so yes this is it we love you, Fee Noel. We love you, we love you, we love you. I think all of the patterns are beautiful. The prints are absolutely amazing. And again, she gives me resort rich B vibes. Next up is something by Sonia, specifically her Monroe Steel collaboration. Y'all already know, you know, because here's the thing. When those collabs dropped, I set an alarm. I wasn't playing with y'all because Monroe's audience her tribe, which I'm a proud member of, y'all sell stuff out. And I said, let me get my hands on, on my stuff now. So I actually have three pieces, y'all. I have the high-waisted camouflage pants that come in that classic Sonya, something by Sonya um, design, which I think is absolutely amazing. And it kind of like the paper bag waist kind of billows over the, um, the, the, the waist of the pants, the belt of the pants. And with a simple tank top on and a cute little sandal. Girl, you run out to Target. You then gave these people a look that they ain't even asked for. That That is what just the designs are so chic and avant-garde. And then this collection, I got two pieces in the most recent one. I got a brown sweater dress. I'm sorry, where that came from? I got a blue sweater dress. 
and I also got a very beautiful um, like oatmeal colored top and they both have this great design detail that's knotted in the front now I will link what I can that may still be in stock down below but from my understanding I think I heard Monroe say that they will be coming out with another collection soon so keep your eyes on the prize uh, everything is something that I promise you you are going to love and it also is size inclusive and so I love that they think about making their brand as inclusive as possible another great set of black designers we know that Monroe is a content creator Son Sonia I think it's Sonia and not Sonia. I'm so sorry to say this if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Um, but we know that Monroe is a content creator and Sonia is an amazing designer. And I think they are just a bad B collabo girl. They come together and they make magic. And last up is a brick and mortar store that I hope to visit very, very soon. And it's called McMullen Boutique. Now, here's the thing about one Miss Sherry. McMullen the uh the owner of the establishment sis used to be a buyer for years for I think Saks or Neiman's I want to say it was Neiman's either way she has brought that acumen and that very well trained eye as a buyer for a luxury retail giant to her own boutique and for that we say thank you girl because the likes of which she has in there the other day my friend Shavonda sent me something and it was by a company I never heard of called Trove. It was a silk button down white top. And y'all know I love me a good basic, but a basic with a twist nonetheless. And this had just like sleeves that were gathered that slightly bailed out. And I said, what is this Shavonda? What, what, my eyes are looking at what? You sent me a work of art in a silk blouse on a Tuesday. That's the kind of stuff that McMullen has and I am always a fan of a good buy girl. It doesn't mean I have to love every single piece that's in your boutique, but you know what it's like when you step into somewhere. I feel this way about 4510 in Dallas. When you step into some place and you're like, oh, they know. Oh, they know what they're doing in here. They have the pieces that you want by the people that you want them. Uh, she even covered or, or, or has this sis who I have loved for years called Lisa Folabio. Um, and it's hard to get her pieces because she is a Nigerian designer from her atelier. So the fact that they're carried at McMullen, girl, when I get out there, had the kids, had, had the wife, had the credit card, had hoops, <laughs> had everything of value because it's going down you hear me I love McMullen she does have an online presence so if you are looking to shop and you're not in the Bay Area then you have that option but I need to go inside girl I have Narnia I'm on my way now let's go to home goods First up are going to be home fragrances. You all know I could not do this video without giving a shout out as I mentioned earlier to my good friends over at Quinn Perfumes. They are an amazing luxury candle company. All of the candles come in beakers and also the wreath diffusers come in beakers as an ode to one of the co-founders, her background as a chemist. And I think that it's just such a brilliant concept. All of the matches come in pill bottles. It's this level of innovation that I think I am seeing as a through current to all of these brands that I'm mentioning to you because anybody can make a candle but are they making candles and beakers are they putting their matches in a pill bottle I think not okay so that kind of ingenuity I think is just it makes me go up for the brand it makes me excited and that's why I reached out to them for the white toenail season collab and so now is the time for me to mention my own product on this list and it is the white toenail season re diffuser girl now the 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 white toenail season fragrance is rose it has a hint of spice in it okay a little bit of sandalwood in there as well with a dash of vanilla it is beautiful and the great part about a reed diffuser is obviously we still have the, the beaker the theme of the beaker but the great part about a reed diffuser is that it lasts longer than a candle all you got to do and i'm gonna show you all right now is flip the wicks over and the smell radiates throughout the entire space. 
stay tuned to Quinn Perfumes and also politics and fashion, of course, because we will have some new products available in the classic, in the signature white tone nail season fragrance. But down to the packaging, it comes in a beautiful white cylinder. I'm just obsessed with everything that Quinn Perfumes does. And obviously, in my biased opinion, the white tone nail season products are impeccable. Now, it is around 3 p.m. when I'm filming this, but it's 5 o'clock somewhere. I don't know who came up with that rule anyway. Uh, uh, so, it's happy hour for me. And because I'm filming this video and I want to tell you who the next black-owned brand is, I said, let me just pour me up a little something. I'm doing this for you. This is not for me. Okay, at all. Pour me up a little bit of Chardonnay to talk to you about this company. Do you see this glass? Do you see this? Did you know that stemware could be a work of art? I bet you didn't. And I found it out from a great company called Estelle. Girl, these wine glasses have me feeling like Nene Lee's. Remember when Sheree was like, uh, she ain't had no money or something like that? And Nene said, I'm very rich. I'm very, this makes me feel very rich, okay? because it is the color and it comes in many many colors it is the shape the breadth of the i don't even know what all this stuff is called okay i don't have a phd in in stemware but i i, I know quality i know luxury when i see and there is also just very slightly the word is still that is etched on the bottom underneath of the glass i mean the eye towards detail i'm looking at it now the eye towards detail girl and as a matter of fact wait a minute let me show you this girl i saved this box because i want y'all to see how it came packaged substantial look at this the gold writing when we open it up of course we have the tissue paper I had it upside down the tissue paper and then it has this note y'all know I love stationery this is what it says and I just fell in love with the brand even more show you what the card looks like the founder's name is Stephanie Hall and the company is called Estelle after her grandmother. And she said, Estelle colored glass is inspired by my grandmother, Estelle, who loved antiquing and had a special day of the week where she visited her favorite shops looking for new treasures in small neighboring South Carolina towns. During the summer months, I had the pleasure of coming along on many of these treasure hunts from my early childhood up through my college years. My favorite collection that she was always adding to was her was her colored glass collection. This marked the start of my love for colored glass. And that's Miss Estelle right there. Don't she look like she bad? Can make a daggone mean pound cake. Okay. So I just love the history behind the brand that is named after her grandmother. Y'all know I'm very close to my grandmother, both of my grandmothers, okay? And I've only taken half of the glasses out because I'm just so, uh, I want to savor each and every one. I don't want to get a nick in it. I don't want to get any type of embellish, like, like uh, we're going to keep these in pristine condition, okay? And so just to show you how they come packaged, there is styrofoam there. This is not meant to be an unboxing, but it's important to me. If I'm talking about these are the best of the best black brands, I want you to see why I'm saying they're the best of the best. And bubble wrap. And then we have... Why is the glass making me this happy? I, I cannot... I cannot explain it. I don't know. I turned into B. Smith. I, I don't know. May she rest well. Okay, and I want to show you all on the bottom what I was talking about as far as the Estelle is concerned. So they are made in Poland. Who knew Poland made glassware? And then look at that. You see why I love Estelle colored glass, okay? So, cheers. And let's keep moving because I want to finish the rest of my wine. And we still got two more categories, y'all. 
Next up, y'all, is skin and body care. And let's start with skincare. It is my friends over at Glow Aesthetics. Now, I have been using these products since they were first sent to me as a PR gift, I think, last year. And so when I tell you that it's tried and true, that's what I mean. I am very particular about my skincare regimen. I have been this way for quite some time. And what is so impressive about these products for me is that she's not just in the kitchen whipping something up that she saw on Dr. Oz, okay? Sis is an RN turned esthetician who has created medically graded products, okay? So top of the top, best of the best. And there are products in here, serums, etc., that are meant to treat your skin. Not just wash, tone, moisturize, which is great, but treat your skin. On top of her also having an amazing, amazing sunscreen that will not leave you looking like Ashy Larry. Now somebody gonna say, shy, I don't believe you. Because you see my, you see my skin, melanated, okay? A deep, dark chocolate hue. This is her moisturizing sunscreen, again medical grade, broad spectrum SPF 50, 14.8% uh, micronized zinc oxide, not sure what all of that means, just I know that it protects you from the sun, okay, what I'm going to do. So she says with her sunscreen, give yourself one full pump. So I'm going to give myself one full pump, okay, and then we just going to rub that thing on in. I need the Jeopardy music the do 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 white cast wear i said wear girl and it is fragrance free all of the products are fragrance free and it also um does not leave your skin oily i mean you can look at it and tell my skin is not oily which is a concern i've always had about using a facial sunscreen and so the products that I use the most often, y'all, are definitely the Hydrating Botanical Cleanser. She is now selling this in a larger bottle than I previously had, and I'm so happy. This is my favorite moisturizer, I'm sorry, a cleanser for the morning because it does not strip your skin or make it feel too dry. Love that. Uh, other favorite product that I use a lot, y'all, is the moisturizer. These two go together like peanut butter and jelly, like peas and carrots, as Forrest Gump might say, okay? So that's going to be your Jenny and that's going to be your Forest. Uh, those two products are amazing. And I'm excited to try her brightening pads because my skin definitely loves acids. And that is uh, what these are made from. And so just absolutely amazing products i love the packaging it's minimal it is sleek there are also a few other products in here as well as far as treatments are concerned you have your radiant serum i believe that probably is for um like a vitamin c type of component because it hydrates and brightens your skin and you also have her refined which firms and tightens and so there are two treatment products outside of the ex exfoliating pads in the line and then we have Nighttime Nourish, girl, I love me a good nighttime product, okay? And this is niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, ceramides, green tea, polyphenols, and peptides. All of those are in there, and the point of this is it says a restorative cream that provides intense moisturization and age-defined benefits. So that's why that's a great nighttime product. Oh, God, I was wondering what was shaking. Look, look at this. It's the details. Do you see this? A little set of job to stop playing with us. And then this is a midday mist, like a refresher. I like this a lot. And I like that it's a small size. I have it in a larger size. This is great to go in your handbag. Um, and so again, I have the whole line. It comes in this bag. Um, she also will send you home, especially if you're going to see her in her studio with um, some details about where to start this is called the foundation luck starter kit and then you also have this reading material here which I probably should have read because it says what each what each product does but <laughs> I'm pretty sure I gave spot on and accurate information but definitely go to her website to learn a little bit more Glow Aesthetics has kindly gave us a coupon, which I will put the code here for you to use on their website. And also I'll link it down in the description box. 
We got my friends over at Rustic Glory Soap. Uh, you all recommended this brand. I reached out. Thank you so much to the founder for sending me some goodies to test out. I am very particular, you all, about soap. Uh, I have very dry skin and I'm not always a fan of putting on lotion, okay? And I hate that black people like to shame people about being ashy. This is how my skin was made. I shouldn't have to overly saturate if my soap is not stripping my skin of the natural oils. And I feel like, sis, you know what she's doing, okay? So she has, she sent me over three soaps. I'm actually using one now. I've tested it out for the past two weeks and absolutely love it. It also lasts longer than some soaps do, so I've been very happy about that. I've used it almost every day for two weeks and there's still quite a bit left. And they're all probably about the same size, okay? The net weight is 4.5 ounces. Um, this one is lavender and rosemary. She calls it a handmade essential oil soap. It smells so good. I love anything that's lavender. The rosemary kind of makes it kind of earthy. And then we have our goat milk and rose clay. And I love anything with rose. Um, some of the key ingredients are coconut oil and shea butter, which helps so it can cleanse while also providing a layer of moisture so that you're not super dry when you get out. Now what I have not tried, because I wanted to show y'all in this video, but I'm so excited about it, is the Detox Dead Sea Salt Bath Soak. All right. And it is dead sea salt, Epsom salt, Himalayan salt, and a bunch of other goodies. It says allow at least five minutes for bath salts to dissolve and soak in tub for at least 20 minutes. And we love the packaging. What would it come with? Just the little things, it's the little things. All right, so I'm about to take my glass of wine and my Estelle wine glass, take my bath soap and my bath salt with this like unnecessary wooden spoon that just makes me feel rich and take me a nice soak in the bathtub uh, because rusted glory, y'all did your thing there. And just to let you see, it comes with this beautiful tissue paper, the sticker here, and then the brand is at the top of the box. So again, great black owned brand that I highly, highly recommend. Last but not least, let's talk about shoes, y'all. And I have to say, this is a space that you don't hear about a lot of black designers in, but this black owned brand, girl, they got it. Sis got the juice and her name is Kiari, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Again, another brand that you all recommended. And now, I don't have any shoes by her. Hopefully we can partner at some point. I think she may be sending me some very soon. But what I can say is that I saw a pair of her Dorset pumps in Nordstrom recently in Tyson's Corner. And the heel, look at the heel. The quality of the leather. It is such a beautiful state mint shoe. Absolutely in love. And the price point isn't too bad for what it is. I mean, for me, this type of shoe is so architectural until it just screams luxury. On top of it being leather and very well made, for a luxury shoe, the price point is reasonable. And so I cannot wait to get my hand on a pair at the very least. Y'all, please check Kiari out. The boots are phenomenal, but she also makes mules with that square toe in the front. Girl, with the, with the white linen dress, honey eat with the white linen and then you have you have on those brightly colored mules and you mess around and have a straw handbag on these girls I, I just the ways in which some of these black brands are giving us the keys to life now it's up to you if you take it or not but you know when they say I got the key this is the key the key to life is contained within this list of black owned brands and black designers okay you gonna have to just go ahead and jump in here girl because i don't know what else to tell you and that is it y'all thank you so much to all of my kind people that are part of our tribe for watching today's video and most importantly for supporting these amazing black owned brands who did i miss who do you absolutely love make sure you let me know down below in the comments in the meantime make sure you're following me over on instagram for daily style and self-care inspiration subscribe to the channel good people give this video a big thumbs up and i will see y'all across the internet i'm about to go drink my wine and take my bath